Mm. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. I want to thank so many of you for thinking of me in so many different ways. Uh, Tamara in Arizona, thank you for sending the vitamins. I really appreciate that. But this one I think is uh, my favorite and one I need the most. Stress away. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some high potency B complex in here. This is pure vegan. I love this. I just started taking it. Thank you so much. So today on the upload, uh, we've got a quick tip for you guys. I've got the beautiful rides, your beautiful rides. And before that, I've got some bonus video and a cool letter I want to share with you. But first, we got to go outside, go to the other building, see our Corvette technician, Chuck. That means I've got to put on, we got to be smart, we got to be safe. I got to put on my custom Corvette mask. Now, yeah, this is probably the first time you guys have seen me with this on. I filmed some other clips. I haven't aired them yet, but this is compliments of Elaine at Corvette Cleveland. So thank you so much. I love this thing. It's fantastic. Although I did order, like when this all started, we needed masks. I ordered off of social media that black mask with the Corvette emblem on it. Yeah, that was over a month ago. I still haven't gotten it. I don't know why I fall into that stuff, man. See that? Click, click. Yeah, bye. It takes forever to get that stuff. I got to stop falling into those stupid ads on social media, man. Right. Well, this is not going to be a pretty picture. I mean, it's good, but it's bad. Another thank you goes to so many of you that I've had the opportunity to do business with this past April. You guys have kept me extremely busy. What am I going to do in May? I got a lot of catch up to do, and I'm going to do it. But right now, uh, this and uh, that, that's mostly used. That's all gone. Um, I used to joke to Mr. Coughlin, hey, you can't sell them off an empty shelf. I'm pretty close to being there. Wow. But seriously, did a lot of business with a lot of you guys. And starting tomorrow on Wednesday after today's upload, and then every other day, I'm going to have shorter uploads. A lot of stuff that we filmed that we just haven't had the time to put together. And I don't want to put like a big giant vlog together and have those get lost in the shuffle. It's cool to have the opportunity to share those people with you guys. I've got some cool letters I want to share with you. So we'll continue those uploads to keep ourselves busy, to keep me focused and also to share some just great experiences all around the lifestyle of Corvette. So I hope you get an opportunity to join us. Make sure that your bell notification is certainly turned on. Now, I know a lot of you guys feel uncomfortable wearing these masks. I felt a little weird, but I mean, here, I've already worn, what, uh, old lady costumes and Superman costumes? This is nothing compared to all that. If I gotta sit in a car with you guys, I'm wearing this and I'm constantly cleaning my hands. I mean, to doing the right things. If you're venturing out into public, get yourself some kind of a mask. Let's, let's control this pandemic. Let's get on, let's get on with life. Now, a lot of you guys had time off and I understand that you're climbing the walls. Uh, I didn't get any time off. I've been actually here more than we were before all the virus stuff started and I'm doing all I can to keep things going. But uh, as you see, and I might have to take a couple of days off and just chill, regroup, remind the kids they have a dad because we have a lot of busy things coming. Just like we talked about in yesterday's video, talking about the life expectancy of the C8 Corvette. What I didn't say, I didn't go into some commentary in that video and I really wanted to talk about some certain things after we gave you some of the rumored information, the unconfirmed stuff that's coming. Shocked to see that they're going to, to, to kind of run that, that generation out in, in five years, six years. Now again, that could change, I expect it to change, but that's the game plan they have. So, already one of you guys I think made a comment to him, please don't, <laughs> I don't know how much I can take it. <laughs> have you started a list for C9? No. Oh my gosh. But we will have time to talk about the future of C8 and the neat things that are about to come our way. I do like this though, matches my shirt too. You know what, I'm actually getting used to wearing this mask and I was sitting here thinking the other day, if Michael Jackson was still alive, what would he say about us today? <laughs> Valid point. Remember what we used to say when you go out in public like this? Right, here's Chuck and I told you, he's wearing a mask too. And he gave me some gloves. <laughs> hey, I was just telling the guys watching the channel right now, you were the guys talking about you guys. What do you think Michael Jackson would say if he saw us today? Oh, we're bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's something else. I know. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Chuck. There's the paparazzi. Come let's on, let's go, go, let's go. go. 
<laughs> now we feel like Michael Jackson. All right. Okay. We're really bad. All right, real quick for a C7 quick tip. Here's what happens uh, in Ohio anyways. This doesn't apply to all areas, but a lot of you folks right now are starting to get your cars out of storage. And what did you do before you put the car in storage? You changed the oil. And Chuck and I were just talking about this because we see these cars coming in and they're complaining. They're going, hey, I just changed the oil. I got it out of storage and my oil life has dropped considerably. Why is that? Well, we're and we're talking about C7 Corvettes. Yeah, it's based on three criteria. Yep. Crankshaft revolutions, mileage, and time. So even though the crank's not revoluting and you're not driving it, right. the timer's still clicking and will continue to click. Right. So, and he and I were trying to determine the best advice for you. My, and I think he agrees, say whatever. I, so you changed the oil before you put it away. Basically, it sat there for three to five months and you've taken it out. Do you need to change the oil again? And I said, probably not. Just reset that. And then that way you're getting a real good reading on for what you're about to do and about to drive. Right, and they, uh, obviously it all depends on how many miles you put on it from the time you changed the oil to the time you put it up. Right. You know, so that's something you kind of have to keep track of. Sure. You change the oil and park it and get it back out, yeah, I'd say just reset it. You change the oil and drive 2,500 or 3,000 miles and then park it, I'd say, yeah, you probably need an oil change. All right, I'm gonna hop into the C7 real quick and show you how to reset it if you gotta do it by yourself in your garage. All right, so when your driver information center right here in the nine o'clock arrow, hit this arrow, make sure you're on info up at the top and then select it in the center. Then scroll down until you come up on the screen there, your oil life. I'll show you what it is right there. Right click and go into that feature and then you can hit the center reset. It'll ask you are you sure you want to reset? Scroll up one, select again in the center, back to 100%, now you're ready to roll. And have a great vet season. All right, you guys, I do appreciate you joining us for this vlog. There's some great things happening in our country due to this pandemic. I want to share one of those with you right now. Man, this note is awesome, and we have video to go along with it, which is a great segue into our ride segment. Hang on, I'm sorry. i take this off so I can read this to you guys. Our customer, Russ, in California that just got a C8 from us was a part of this. This is a note from Robin Hudson about his son. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, we're reminded today that there are good people out there. Our son, Sean, was born with a rare brain malformation called polymicrogyria. I apologize if I didn't say that right. You can get more information at pmgawareness.org. This disorder leaves him with many challenges, including being nonverbal. But it does not stop him from his passion, which is cars, loud cars, preferably with four tailpipes. Today, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to Russ Taylor and so many others, including the entire Skittle Squad Exotics group for their drive-by this morning for Sean. They put together a very large group of amazing individuals to drive by our home. They rev their engines up and they put a huge smile on my son's face. They even handed him a few gifts. The last six weeks have been very tough for him with his world being turned upside down due to the virus. Sean is extremely social and finds such joy in going to school and being with his friends and teachers. He doesn't understand why he isn't going, why he can't see his friends and teachers, and why we are staying away from family. So we wanna thank all of them so much for their kindness and compassion and for blessing my son this way today. It will be something he will always remember. Robin Hudson. Now here's that video. Right here. What? Shawnee! <laughs>
Wow, man, that was awesome. I bet Sean loved every single minute of it and every single car that drove by. Way to go, guys. And hey, we're not done yet. You want to see some more cars? As always, at the end of every Tuesday vlog, it's time now for your beautiful rides. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, we have another upload for you tomorrow afternoon. Oh,
understand that you 